enrichment lesson, we're going to work on our sample or on our website and our Weebly website, and we're going to go and work on the sandbox page, and we're going to talk about putting a survey in there. So I'm going to go ahead. I've logged in. I'm going to go ahead and edit my Weebly, and I'm going to go to the page that's called Sandbox. So as I practice this, if it doesn't work out, that's okay. I can just delete the page. So I'm going to come over here in my Weebly editor, and I'm looking for the survey widget. I'm going to grab the survey widget. And here we are. Here's our first question in our survey. So to give it a title, we're going to go ahead and click up here. So once I've given it a title, uh, I want to go down here and change this question. I need to click out of that box for a second. And now I can click back on the question. So here's the first question is, what is your favorite class? Okay, over here you'll notice, is this a required question? Yes or no? I'm going to go ahead and say, no, it is not required. If I go down here to edit options, I can go ahead and change the class, uh, choices. So I'm going to put art, tech, gym, or health. I'm going to click save, and you can see they've changed the options over here. All right. Go down here to the next one. I'm just going to delete this question just so we can. Now, one of the things I do want to show you is under form option, if you want the results sent to you so you can see how people answered your survey, you're going to go ahead and put your email address that you have access to right here. And you can also give it a name. I would call mine preferences. All right, going to go to save. And then let's just go ahead and publish this and see how it looks. And remember, under our sandbox page. And there we are, UJHS preferences. What is your favorite class? Go ahead and submit it. And you can see up there, it says, thank you, your information has been submitted. And that is how we add a survey into our Weebly website.